Have you ever seen somebody who is stuck in the past? You know, they have the old way of thinking about things, right? What used to be the hardest part about blogging? Because this has changed. Let me ask again. The hardest part about blogging used to be what? It used to be creating the content, coming over here, type it on your keyboard, making the words on the screen look nice and pretty. But guess what? Those times are over. I just released this masterclass and it's only open a few days, but the point is this. I was able to create 550 blog posts like that and it's actually good content. It's internally linked. It's solid. If you were to look at this, I bet you wouldn't know it was AI produced, 100%. AI produced content. So that begs the question, what can we do to set our websites apart? That's what we're gonna focus on. What can you do to make your website stand apart? Because there's a mass of content coming down on Google right now. That's why everything is shaky. So what can you do to set yourself apart? Now we're jumping ahead a little bit, but look at this, Dolly and ChatGPT, isn't that pretty crazy? That's crazy. But to start off, I recommend having really tight authority in a cluster. And what do I mean? Let's say that we're doing gluten-free cookies, right? Gluten-free cookies come to answer Socrates, Excel spreadsheet, just grab all of these. Let's just grab a bunch and let's come here to new chat. Let's say, which of these could be a guide, a big guide, right? Because let's let it cook, let's let that cook. Um, you want a big guide because QA answer, you know, question answer type of stuff. Uh, there might be problems. We'll talk about this, right? But look here, based upon the answer, Socrates, we want topical authority. How can we do it? Are gluten-free cookies healthier, right? Are they good? Are the cookies better for you, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to say, give me revised article names. Do not just give me the exact questions, right? because I have a sneaky suspicion that Google's doing something that it can identify certain types of websites. And if all you're doing is QA, 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 question, answer, question, answer, question, answer, you might have an issue. Nonetheless, I mean, all these titles kind of stink. I don't like them at all. But the point is this, we're going to use QA type of stuff, but we're gonna fold it into big, big guides. Now for this next step, I want you to head over here, the Excel SEO master sheet. This is what we work on. So there'll be a link in the description. And what it pops out is this right here, a very methodical way of going about this. So what I want to do, we're going to use this and we're going to come back to ChatGPT. And I asked it some good questions. I said, a tier one article is considered an article that has more importance and able to talk about many tier two articles. So I'm defining what these are. A tier two article is able to talk about one thing specifically, basically give me these things, right? So make sure I'll, I'll, I'll have that right there. Just copy that. Now it gave us this tier one article and it gave us the questions we can have in here. I'm gonna work on this right here. And it gave us these tier one articles. That's really, really good. And then it also gave us tier two articles. So what I'm gonna show you is how to build topical authority through this process. Now let's have a little fun. This is where we really hit the road running or whatever the expression is. This is what it looks like when you build out a cluster, a top. I know it doesn't look like much, it's just words on the screen. Look here, I'll resize it for you. Can you see this? This is a tier one right here. Gluten-free cookies, a comprehensive guide. These are tier twos, but I have a problem with these because like I said, QA, question, answer, qu everyone does that. Let's change it up, let's be different so we can stay ahead of the pack. And this is what we're going to do. So I said, rephrase these to be statements that are correct instead of questions. Uh, and here they are, and it gave me like long sentences. So I said, redo and make them statements that are accurate, but make them concise for H1 title tags. Now check these out. Now. I really, really like these. So what I could do is I could replace these. And instead of that back there, questions and all that, we have statements. And statements make for better title tags in articles, right? It always looks a little funny to me when we're having a straight question. I do it too because I'm lazy sometimes, but the health benefits of gluten-free cookies, we can talk about more things in that article than if we were to say, are gluten-free cookies healthier? That's a yes or no question. This is a guide. I want more comprehensive things to talk about to rank higher on Google. Now I'm going to throw you a curveball for a second. This is Jamie Ross's channel. He does excellent videos, excellent podcasts. You've probably seen him on other big channels like Ahrefs. But nonetheless, he did an interview with James Dooley, this guy right here. And I want to show you what he says about new websites, all right? Check this out. Okay, moving forward here. If you had a brand new site, what are the three main things, the three first things that you're doing to the site? Building it, but make certain I'm just ticking all the boxes for me, AT, just get an address, get a telephone yeah. number, get an email address, just just get the core basics. There's no... There's no 
So you said EEAT, you know, call, um, phone number, emails, all these type of social signals, right? There's no money involved in doing that. There's no like, it's just, just do what a real business would do. Get a and that's what we've been saying a long time, last two weeks, ever since the helpful content update, is treat your thing like a real business. And this ties back into top Switch four account, get a Facebook account, maybe get a Pinterest account, or something like that, get a YouTube channel, just to have then links put on there, get the the, um, the core basics in the footer, just, just get that set up. Then go and build maybe 50 pages. Um, and that's the key. He's talking about a seed website that you can ice, 50 pages. So if you have a new website, this is really, really If you important. want to do AI, do AI. If you want to write it yourself, write it yourself. Um, but try to go after low keyword difficulty. So try to start having certain pages that you think you can get top five rankings on. So I... And I'll leave it there. I mean, the, the, the value in that... I've watched that interview twice. And the thing is like, what is it? It's like an hour and, and, and five minutes. I watched it twice. Highly recommend you check it out. But did you hear what he said? When you do a new website, you build out EEAT and then you can seed it with 50 articles that you can rank for. And the cool part is... I've already done studies on this. Answer Socrates gives us pretty darn good keywords that we can rank for. I push these into Ahrefs and we can usually, these are lowered keyword difficulty phrases. So now we're getting into it. There's two ways. There's actually three ways to do this. We can write this article and keep in mind, we are writing the health benefits of gluten-free cookies. It's this one right here, the first H2 or uh, uh, article tier two, sorry, tier two. There's three ways to write this. We can do handwritten, right? Handwritten, old school. We can do uh, auto blog, or we can do a hybrid. And what I like to do, if you really care about your thing, you can go fast, 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 but you can do hybrid too. And oftentimes it kind of takes the same amount of work. So you'll see what we're going to do. We are going to first go to uh, Google. We're going to type in health benefits of gluten-free cookies and check this out. The top part is the SGE stuff. And then we have the first article, benefits of gluten-free pizza and gluten-free cookies. Do you notice there's a disparity between the search and the article? In other words, this is cookies only, solely. This is pizza and gluten-free cookies. That means one of two things. Google's confused, which doesn't happen often. Eh, it can happen. Or there's opportunity. And I'm guessing there's opportunity here. Nonetheless, we keep going. Mayo Clinic is number two which is really hard to rank against them, unless there's opportunity, it's underserved. And then here's number three, the gluten-free diet. This looks like, all right, Healthline, big, big website. Nonetheless, go to the headers, and right here, and this is SEO meta in one click, we can grab these and we can say, ooh, here's some nice headers. But what I've done, I've gone to uh, ChatGPT already, and I've asked it, and I like this. I said, I wanna rank for this, provide a proposed H2 header structure. So it says, basically here, now, if you're going to do the handwritten article, this is good enough for you because it gives you all the blurbs. It gives you what it is, gluten sensitivity, da, da, da. But I just want the H2. So I said, just the H2s. Give me the H2s. I'm going to push them to Word Galaxy. Now, I want to try something a little different here with Word Galaxy. Let's just make sure we have the keyword title. We have the headers. That's good. Professional English article length, a one or a two. The keywords that I want to inject could be related to other articles we're going to do. Why? Well, we can internally link them. So let's say I want this one copy here and this one copy here. Uh, and I'm going to say provide some LSIs for these articles. In other words, provide me, provide some opportunity for me to naturally interlink via anchor text. Do you feel me? So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to push these. I don't know. It, I've never done this. I've never done this. This is an experiment. We're going live. We're doing it live. And let's just see what Word Galaxy can do. Now, the other option here is we go to SEO writing.ai bulk article generation. This is when we do auto blogging. But remember, I like hybrid approaches. We can do pure auto blogging, it works. It will rank most likely if you do the structure right, if you do the structure correctly, which I teach you in the masterclass. But this thing can pump out some articles. And even with my VA, my uh, virtual assistant, these articles were coming with pictures, one picture per article, about $2 per uh, article, which is insane. So you can figure if in the master class, and look here, you can have image generation. If in the master class we did 550, 550 articles, that was about $1,000 to do a huge website. Insane, right? But nonetheless, if you want to roll with it, use, um, what's the discount code? I have it in the description. I think it's Jesse25. This tool is really good to jam on some bulk article generation. And just like that, the word galaxy is ready to review. The headers are exactly what we dictated. And that is very powerful for SEO. And furthermore, if you want to use this, 
and edit it, I highly encourage that. Come in here and start editing it down, making it better, making it better. Any SEO content tool out of the box should be edited if you really want to get you know down to the weeds, right? So I want to show you something too. Check this out. This is the auto blog and masterclass. Remember, I was showing you that earlier, but these are the modules. It's over five hours. Uh, auto blog and lessons, the primary. So we build a primary website. I mean, everything everything and then guess what we do an international website based upon that article uh, on that website so i clone that website i push it to german and i have 550 blog posts on the us domain and then a unique 550 on the de german domain and i'm going to do it uh, in France as well. And then the standard operating procedures, these are the exact SOPs that I give to my team, right? The exact videos that I literally gave to my team to build this out. So you have every tool you'll need to go fast to really jam out some articles to get ahead of your competition.